This is a short one. This kind of came to my head yesterday. It was Christmas Eve yesterday and I couldn't get to sleep and it was like 1am. Like I'm 8 years old again for some reason. Basically, I was thinking about the ultimate gift I could give to myself in a year's time for Christmas, for example. Like, what if you could give one thing to yourself in a year's time, what would that be? And that's about becoming a new person. Becoming someone better. Becoming a better version of yourself. It's kind of weird that we dissociate us now with future us, even though like we're kind of the same person. It's kind of confusing. And then I thought about this idea of becoming a new person, becoming them in the future. That's what, how you think about it. If you say, I want to become them now, you don't think about like the actions you have to do now. But when you break down the word become into the two separate parts, be, come. Being means now. Be is a present word. It's present tense. And come infers the results. The results will come. So, therefore, put it together. You must be now. You must be that person you want to become now. In order to, to see the results. You're always shifting your the pressure. Of, you know, the goals you want to achieve. The things you want to do so, at certain points in your life. You're always shifting that pressure from you right now to future self. Think about the amount of times you said, one day I want to do this. One day I want to run a marathon. You know, I'll start the gym. I'll start going to the gym next week. That pressure is not on me. Put that pressure on you now. I guarantee you will see crazy things. Like even stopping bad habits, right? You've got to be the person you want to be in the future that doesn't do them habits. Kind of makes sense. I mean, that's that's everything you need to know on self-improvement. That's literally everything you need to know is about becoming the person you want to be, about how to do it. You've got to be them. Okay, look at yourself a year in the future and what you want yourself to be. <laughs> Put it that way. Who do you want yourself to be a year's time? You've got to think very specifically here. Okay, I want to have this certain body. I want to have this certain level of fitness. I want to... I want to have these grades. I want to be this good at studying. I want to be this productive. I want to be this good at talking to people. I want to be this confident with girls. You can't just expect yourself to be there you've got to manifest it it's so hippy dippy but you've got to do it now like the weight that you put in at the gym you think about how progressive overload works you've probably heard about it if you're into self-improvement and going to the gym and stuff and lifting weights or exercise in general you think about progressive overload if you do the same if you lift the same amount of weights every single time you'll get to a point you have the same reps, the same weights, the same amount of sets. You'll get to a point in a few months' time where your body is completely adapted to that. And adaptations will stop because it's like, okay, we're used to this now. We've built this body to be good at that. So, therefore, in order to become the person with a certain amount of fitness in a month's time, you've got to push yourself that extra harder at the gym. If like that makes sense, that's what progressive overload is. It's forcing the adaptations so you become that person in the future. <sighs> Same with that person that's good at talking to girls or good in social situations. That per that kind of person is in a lot of social situations. They expose themselves. If you want to become that person, you've got to expose yourself into them situations. Okay. I mean, that's it. You get it, bro. Have a good Christmas. Bye.